Dang it, Samurai. You weren't supposed to give it away to your opponent. Okay, so... Looks like we'll be seeing a Samson Paladin against a Petros Bomber. Okay, welcome to match three of the Aramek 1v1 weekend 1v1 tournament number one between Onsault between the green player on the left side, Makuo, in a Samson Paladin, and the blue player on the right side, Samurai Elf, in a Petros Bomber. Yeah, that is Petros. Okay. So, standard openings from both players. Makuo going for armadillos instead of longhorns. In interesting choice. That means that they'll have a more mobile force than Samurai Elf. However, it also means that they won't be as good as in a head-on fight. Samurai Elf deploying some creeps to, I mean, taking out Makuo's creeps, but they ended up getting finished off in the process. So, I... Uh, and that barely delayed the outpost capture. So I'd say that that was a negative for Samurai Elf. Makuo moving in to take out the neutrals. Samurai Elf might be able to take something out? No, but they will be able to get the neutral XP for themselves. So, that's... It's not a huge win for them, but it is significant. Samurai Elf doing some bombing. They should be able to get away. Uh, Samson Paladin in the area does not have a whole lot of DPS, especially before they've got the offense aura. And Makuo hasn't put a single point into Hammer yet. It looks like they put... Okay, they put one point into level up, one point into... Uh, is that Blaster Guardian? No, Heal Guardian, and one point into Offense for it. Samurai Elf putting one point into Bombs, and one point into... Is that Blaster Guardian? No, that's also Heal Guardian. No mid-fight yet, just a lot of massing of forces. Samurai Elf going down again to some flackers from Makuo. Makuo putting down some more stuff. Um, laying down some mines, so that's interesting. Uh, Sokka units. Makuo's got four money makers down. S nothing for Samurai, nothing in their loadout even. Um, Samurai... Other interesting things, Samurai Elf has the Tesla Tower in their loadout. They've also got Heavy Mines, and they've got the T-45s for some quick defense. And T-45s are pretty dang good against Dillos. Samurai Elf now going for the middle outpost with some Longhorn. Should be able to neutralize it pretty easily. Will be able to. Makuo's... Seeing what's going on, they're laying down three Dillos to try and take down the neutrals immediately below. They might want to heal off that last Dillo. Samurai Elf taking out more of the neutrals. This isn't going... Uh, Makuo, they... Was that just a scout out? Yes, it was. And now they're going to try and take out some of Samurai Elf's units. Um, abortive attempt. That's what that's called. Makuo now moving in to put a mid fight in this, around this mid. Deploying a patcher and three armadillos. But they've, they've left. Samurai Elf should be able, they've, oh, Samurai Elf could have taken out everything there. They, they didn't, and now they've, they've died. And now Makuo should be able to capitalize on this to take this outpost. They need to use what time they have because they only have about five more seconds of that time before Samurai Elves respond and probably about five more seconds before they get over here. Okay, looks like Samurai Elf has given out up on this post in the short term. Now they're doing a scout out to see what's going on. 
They're going to drop some bombs, but they're going to go down again. Th this seems to be a powder in this Samurai Elf. They're, they're too aggressive, they take too many risks that don't pay out, don't pay out, and as a result, they die a lot. Kinda like me in that regard. Um, there is a lockbox down. Makuo, it has grabbed it. Looking at the upkeep, it is 40 to 32 right now. Not a good spot for Samurai Elf, but not one that they cannot recover from if they make the right moves. Neutralizing this outpost, not a poor move from this side. Much better than attacking the three or four flaggers. Get out of there, Samurai! Get out of there! Okay, they do, they do stay a, for a little less longer now. Dropping a Tesla, uh... I'm not so sure that that's the best of ideas. Oh, Makua is low on energy, and they just—they're—they're they're now feeding a bunch of light units into a meat grinder, because that's what this is. That's—that's that's like um, I want to say about 15k credits down the drain. A heal guardian just went down for Samurai Elf, but they—they they might get out of here. They might. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, they will. Makuo moving out their forces. Samurai Elf has managed to retake that outpost. But holy crap, this is a lot of stuff. And now they're moving all of it. In on T. There, there's three Teslas. That's, uh, that's a lot. Samurai Elf not going to go down here. And they'll be ready to counter push. The, these units are strapped. This is called spaghetti straps. The... These units are just filing in, in a little line, coming into a meat grinder. They... In these RTS games, you want your units to be fairly balled up when attacking. And on this bottom path on, on Salt, it's kinda hard to do that. Because it's just so narrow, so you're basically forced to do this spaghetti. Anyway, so 32-24 upkeep, looking good for Makuo so far, but they've got a lot of damage stuff, and Samurai Elf can do some good bombing, they can narrow that down by a lot. Nice level up there, saving them from death, not that they would have died anyway. However, so, I think that this is I kinda going to be a stalemate. Oh, Samurai Elf does go down, however, there's almost nothing left. Makuo should be able to finish this all off, however, as long as they can keep all the other units out of the fray. Now they're just withdrawing. So, that... In the meantime, though, they have taken the middle outpost, so if that's a thing. Um, Light Mage Becky. So this is Aramek. This is... It's a, an action real-time strategy game. So... Basically, your objective is to destroy these fortresses. And so, capturing these outposts gives you build points. You do that by rocking infantry into them, or just using the infantry that spawned from your fortress every 20 seconds or so. You control these Aramex, they can give orders to units that you build and move them around, and that, that's the gist of it. You can also level them up, up give them different abilities. Okay, so... Mukuo now controls this outpost, but Samurai Elf has pushed in with a decent number of Longhorns to take this outpost out. Now, they... they left to... Is that... what is this? Just a Longhorn. Yeah, that's going to die, however, Samurai Elf has retaken their forward outpost. Um, Samurai Elf, they, well, now they've moved their long corner away. Um, trying to get some bombing in on these rebels. Lots of rebels. Lots and lots of rebels out from Makuo. They don't have any dillos left on the field. They've just got 18 rebels. I think what they're going to push for is a fort rush. However, I'm not sure that that's the best idea against a bomber. All that AoE is going to make short work of these rebels. I mean, now you've got a bunch of one-third health rebels. 
but putting down some more flashes. Samurai Elf almost going down there. Not quite, though. These Longhorns don't have the turb rotation or rate of fire to deal with these rebels. So they could just be going for an outpost push, but I I kind of find it a... I don't know what they're planning. Oh, Makuo now pushing out a Goliath tank. Uh, re Repositioning some of these mines. That's going to be a huge problem for Samurai Elf if they decide to push out. It means that they'll have to go for the less advantageous bottom lane instead of the lane where the mines are. Either that or take time to deploy a ratchet and defend it to remove the mines. Or sacrifice something. Maybe a ratchet. Actually, no. You can't sacrifice healing units to mines because the second they're put down, like, he, I don't believe healing units can trip mines. Makuo now doing a fort drop with a group of four rebels. So this has already brought Samurai Elf to about one fifth health, one sixth health. Yeah, one sixth health. However, it's not going to do a whole lot more. Looks like it was only uh, a flacker and a rebel. Okay. A flacker and a flacker and three rebels. And that's not enough to defend against a bomber. Samurai Elf now doing some good work. It's now 3836 upkeep. I think that the rebels were a mistake, especially because what's the point of them now? That they've got a Goliath. Were these command moded? Or were these sent out on something and they just crapped themselves pathing wise? I okay. I guess they're just I guess Baku just sat those there. Samurai Elf taking the lockbox, that's another 6,000 credits. Wait, do the do the lockboxes gain interest? The neutral lockboxes gain interest. I did not know that. Uh, Samurai Elf moving in with the Tesla Tower. This is a defensive measure, it looks like. Mm, yeah. You don't, you don't engage two Goliaths, three Goliaths with the Tesla Tower. Um, so now it looks like we're just waiting a ton. Guess I'll go read over chat. Um, Bakuo laying down some more mines. They're, they're just sitting this huge force here. I, I don't know. Samurai Elf's got a goalie of their own. They've actually... They've also got two more down here. Uh, Samurai Elf's using their Mantis Strike. Looks like now that Council has given the Mantis Strike an energy cost that has nerfed it a bit. There, when that first happened, people were saying, like, that's no nerf. And it looks like it's more the Heal Guardian that's draining him than the Mantis Strike. That's amazing. Um... It's 42-48. Samurai Elf actually has the upkeep advantage, but now they're stalled. They're at 50 upkeep, and they can only have 50 upkeep. They need to take more outposts in order to be able to build more. Makuo has 8 less upkeep. Oh, no. Upkeep is now tied. Or at least it was for a second. Uh, Samurai Elf now pushing forward, and that's going to prompt Makuo to push forward on Y. So... Samurai Elf's now dropping that Tesla Tower. That's kind of a waste, actually. Oh! What? I... I'm a little confused as to what's going on there now. Okay, so... Is... I don't think Samurai Elf's looking to cause a base race. I think what we have going on here is Samurai Elf just wants to get Makuo to push in an unfavorable position, which is what they're doing. They're pushing against three Tesla Towers, that means that the DPS of the units is going to be effectively halved. They're... Uh, okay, so... But, most of their force has survived. But Samurai Elf took down another goalie. However, now they've got this very, very, very tough to kill Wall of Pain, taking this outpost and heading towards their fort fortress. Looks like Bakuo's 
um, pageant here. They're they're not going all in on the outpost or on the fortress. They're they're making sure that they take the outpost and they're also going to try and end this at the fortress. What this means is that all their stuff has died. Like they they've just lost all their goalies except for one. That one's now going to be easier to kill. Bakuo should have gone for a bit more unified push or just held back because now all that push has been destroyed. And they've, now they've got a bunch of rebels up. However, they're a paladin. They don't have the defensive power of Samurai Elf. And if Samurai pushes out right now, that could be very bad for Bakuo. What Bakuo is going to do here, I imagine, is... Okay, they're pushing forward with all these rebels. So, so that's not going to be a great situation for Samurai Elf to defend against. However, Samurai Elf is a bomber. They've, they've got AoE, and they've also deployed a ton of T-45s. So, Makuo's, Makuo's recognized that that 4 push isn't going to be the best route for them. Instead, what they're going for is a small T push. But even that, that's going to be worse for them, because it means that their forces are staggered. It's not... Oh, it is a wide push. Well, uh, in any case, all these forces... These are... These are rebels being sent into the meat grinder. Now they're doing a, a drop at the back of the fortress, though. And that's... Okay. It's not going to get quite enough. Meanwhile, the Wall of Pain continues to advance towards Makua's fortress. So these Goliaths continuing to move forwards. What does Makuo have to defend? Well, they've sure got a lot of rebels. But they don't have any flackers. And nothing a bomber makes mincemeat of faster than rebels. Actually, they lied. They, they make mince, mincemeat of infantry faster. They make mincemeat of jokers. Or zippers faster, I guess. But rebels. Low HP units, small, clumped up, but Samurai Elf's not here. Samurai Elf's not here. These rebels are getting access to the back of these tanks. Not good for these tanks. Okay, Sorry, I was wrong there, because now Samurai Elf, this happened while Samurai Elf was away. Samurai Elf's not landing and using the whirlwind, interestingly. Guess that, huh. So, uh, it's now 29.30. I think we're in for a, a fairly long game right now. Uh, whoa. Do we have Rex in, in stream chat? We've got... Is Rex OP Rex? I don't know. Insane is not playing right now. Okay. Insane is my camera. Insane is what you're seeing on stream. I, Stuart98, am who you are hearing. So, um, Samurai Elf has neutralized this bottom outpost. Now, look, look at that outpost control bar. Samurai Elf has got like three outposts, and Makuo has got one. And Samurai Elf it has defended against this. I think what we're going to see... So Samurai Elf only has about one quarter of their base health left. So I imagine what we could see is Makuo doing some fort drops. Because they are behind an upkeep. They have 35 upkeep behind. So I don't think that's recoverable from. If they play the long game, Samurai Elf is going to win. Because they've got the momentum. What Makuo needs to do is try and whittle down that quarter fort health until they until there's nothing left to whittle down because the fort's dead and they won. Trying to take this uh, forward outpost, however, it's it's not going to happen. Makuo is too far behind to have any permanent um, options against this bomber. And now they're... <laughs> Samurai Elf's actually faster than them. That's awesome. So, they're... I think... Samurai Elf has won. 
Samurai Elf has won. It's going to be a well. It's going to be a while before we see him actually win, but he's he's basically won, essentially won at this point. The meta is Kevin Durant, so Tesla and Bomber is unstoppable. No, not really. It's just the Makuos going with a light unit loadout. They don't have any Longhorns. All their Goliaths are dead. So, they... Teslas make mincemeat of light units. That, and they've also got a lot of T-45s down. You don't want to go light units against a Bomber. That's, that's a bad idea. If Makuo had gone Longhorns, Hunter Seekers, Ratchets, we'd be seeing a different game right now. Instead, Samurai Elves got all these goalies and te that Tesla Tower. The Tesla Tower is... That Tesla Tower could die. I'm not sure. Okay, it's, it's not going to die because now Samurai Elves is body blocking. Uh, Makua is moving in with this last force of Dillos. Have... Samurai Elves a bomber, they... Now the retreat. Um, Makua, what are you doing? Uh, it's 60 upkeep to 24 upkeep. The <laughs> Makua is in much worse position. Makua using their hammer to try and lower the DPS of these glides, but it's just not going to be enough. Some are. What was I wrong? Ish? Samurai elves They've gotten more stuff, but all their old stuff is dead. Interesting. So I think what happened was Makuo, they've got six flackers, and a bunch of them are over here, half of them. But a bunch of others are dead. Back when they had all these live flackers. Samurai Elf couldn't do anything because they were under too much fire. So Makua was able to render Samurai Elf too, um, too vulnerable to stop all their stuff. However, now that's not the case. And now Samurai Elf, they've got a 46 upkeep advantage. Four of that is in Goliaths, but 12 of that is in T45s. So. I guess the upkeep advantage isn't as drastic as it looks like, unless Samurai Elf decides to sell all their defenses. However, five, five Goliaths, that's 20 upkeep in Goliaths. So, mobile combat units, it's fairly even at this point. Samurai Elf still has a Longhorn somewhere? Okay. Makuo is trying to retake this outpost. Samuel just deployed a Goliath. That's not going to happen. Now, oh, but now Makuo is moving in with all these Dillos. That T45 could put in some good work if it targeted the right stuff instead of switching to a different target every two seconds. Samuel Elf's now working on retaking that close outpost from Makuo. This is an interesting game, I have to say. Um. These neutrals still haven't died. Now Maku is trying to take Samurai Elf's forward outpost. So there's just a Goliath, a T-45, and some Tier 3 creeps there. Rex is the... Okay. I was a little scared for a second there. Rex is the only one whose stream is freezing and can't hear anything. Which is good. Um... These... Now these units are... Whoa! Oh! Oh! Samurai Elf's away! Samurai Elf's... Samurai Elf just died! And now Makuo's got all these units that they can push forward on Y. This... This... Uh... They're all dying though! Uh... <laughs> now as soon as Samurai Elf respawns... They are going to kill all of this, and these T45s are already putting some good work on in on this. 
I, I think Makuo, I think Makuo is actually just going to hero paladin their way to victory. <laughs> That's not something you hear a whole lot. Um, wow. So now Samurai Elf needs to win this, and they need to win this ASAP. They need to go all in. They need to. They need to take everything. They need to win. If they don't win now, they are going to lose. <laughs> and for how uh, much of a tautology that sounds like, if they are virtually dead. Samurai Elf is. Samurai Elf has um, about 2% fort health remaining. So Makuo is just going to move in with these rebels on the fortress, on Y. And now, yeah, GG. This game does go to Makuo. Congratulations to Makuo. Commiserations to Samurai Elf. Makuo moves on to the semifinals. And Sam Elf has been eliminated. Better luck next time. Okay, so that was a...